As Christians, why are we more critical than compassionate? Christianity today has become so condemning. Walking with God is definitely not easy and it doesn't help when you have people constantly bashing and condemning you for being a human and making mistakes. What I've noticed is that Christianity has become more critical than compassionate and that is a problem. Yes, God calls us to judge, but he calls us to judge righteously. Christians need to be judging, but judging in love and humility with compassion towards Towards one another being patient with people understanding that we're not all at the same place in our walk so the same way that the Lord is patient and compassionate towards us and he's graceful and he gives us time to do right because it's not going to happen overnight the goal of righteous judgment is to seek restoration with a person and not shaming someone we also need to stop judging based on outward appearance it is also not our place to judge a person's motives a lot of so-called believers are assuming people's motives and intentions when only God can see a person person's true motives and intentions. It's not our place to assume someone's motives or intentions. Only God can see a person's heart posture and only God knows what that person's relationship is with him. Oftentimes I see so many people assuming that someone doesn't have a good relationship with God just because of mere physical things. God doesn't judge based on outward appearance. God looks at our hearts. And that's something that we as humans cannot see. We cannot see a person's heart posture. We do not know what a person's real relationship is with the Lord. Yes, we can be discerning of a person, especially by their fruits, but make sure that you are actually being led by the Holy Spirit's discernment and not by your own fleshly discernment. Matthew 7 verse 1 through 5 says, Judge not that you be not judged, for with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that's in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is a log in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brothers. We have to make sure that we are operating out of love when correcting someone. Yes, God calls us to correct and righteously judge, but that must be in love. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 2 says, If I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and knowledge, and I have all faith as to move mountains, but I do not have love, I am nothing. This verse is so beautiful because it emphasizes the importance on love. Love is the foundation of all spiritual gifts. Without love, all these spiritual gifts are meaningless. Matthew 7 verse 1 says, Do not judge and criticize and condemn others so that you may not be judged and criticized and condemned yourselves. Ephesians 4 15 says, Speak the truth, but in love. We have to check our heart posture and we have to humble ourselves and admit that no one is perfect. We all fall short of the glory of God. And so the next time you're about to cast judgment on someone, ask yourself, is this coming from a loving place or is this coming from a prideful place? Because with harsh criticism and condemnation, you could be the very thing that's pushing someone away from the Lord and not towards him. We need to repent from having pharisaical religious spirits and condemning people when God himself would never condemn someone. The Bible says there is no condemnation in Christ. It is time to stop being so critical and be compassionate. Next time you want to criticize someone out of the flesh, take a step back pray and ask the Lord how to respond and how to righteously correct someone in love. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon.